Good afternoon, everyone. Firstly, I'd like to apologize for the late start. The persons were on their way from work, etc. So we do understand that we appreciate that you are able to be here this afternoon. Honorable Gloria Thomas, Minister for Social and Community Development, Gender Affairs and Housing. Honorable Delma Thomas, Minister of Health and Wellness and Religious Affairs. Senator Claudette Joseph, Minister of Legal Affairs and Attorney General. Honorable David Andrew, Minister of Education. Dr. Tessa Sinse, Caretaker for St. Andrew's Northeast. Former Prime Minister, Honorable Tillman Thomas. Mr. Sylvester Qualis, Chairman of the National Democratic Congress. Mr. Randall Robinson, Deputy Chair of the National Democratic Congress. Special invited guests, welcome. Supporters, again, a pleasant afternoon to everyone. Life is for service. And that's in the words of Fred Rogers. Before we begin, I invite Senator Andrew to lead us in a word of prayer. Can we please stand? Let's pray, please. Almighty God, our eternal Father, we give you thanks today for your goodness. Lord, we approach your throne to say thank you. Lord, we thank you for life. Lord, we thank you for the privilege we have to gather in a fashion like this. Lord, we thank you for the opportunity we have today to say thank you. Just to say thank you. Lord, to friends, family, loved ones, oh God, who have served this organization well and even though some of them have passed oh God we say thank you to their families for lending them to us to serve and so father we pray your blessings on this evening's activity we pray that you bless the organizers everyone who had an input into making it the success that it is turning out to be oh God we invite your Holy Spirit's presence and we pray your continued blessings on all of us in Jesus name of thanksgiving Amen. Thank you, Senator Andrew. Alone, we please be seated. Alone, we can do little. Together, we can do much. And that's in the words of Helen Keller. The people whom we are celebrating and recognizing this afternoon clearly lived the life that reflected the words of Helen Keller. They believe that by joining forces with others, much more can be accomplished. As such, as such they rallied together and held the force as they brought the mission of the National Democratic Democratic Congress to, to the people of St. Andrew. I am Samantha Charles, your hostess, for this evening's small but very noteworthy event. It is my great pleasure to welcome you on behalf of the organizers to say thank you for being here, for your support emphasizes the significance of dedicated service and most importantly your appreciation for what your persons would have done. I am quite sure that the stalwarts being recognized are smiling down on all of us here today and would very much like to see their family giving just a little of what they gave. Thank you for being a ray of sunshine even in the darkest days. Community service is how humans build a connection and a sense of belonging. And I'm quite sure that each and every one of us here would like to have this sense of belonging 
within our communities and it's through service that this can be done and again we are grateful and it is with a sense of gratitude that we are here this evening to extend appreciation and thanks for the work of these stalwarts so again i say welcome 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 to all of you for taking the time off to be here this afternoon we now call on Ms. Whitney Richardson to lead us in the National Anthem. Please stand.
me for this beautiful rendition and let's just again show some appreciation to the team. <laughs> and I'll invite Ms. Josephine Blash to give an overview of this evening's activity. just to say thank you. On three occasions, I attempted to put pen to paper to, to write a little speech for this evening, and I just couldn't. Um, I don't know why. I feel it's because I, I need to speak from my heart. I had the honor of working with a lot of these people who we are honoring here today. And I know the sacrifice they made. These people sold them when we struggled, when we had nothing. So they already made up their minds that they had nothing to get. And yet still, the commitment and the dedication and the sacrifice they made, you know, it's, it's something that still makes me get a bit cold every time I think about it and talk about it. So, I, we are here this evening and uh, I know a lot of you may not know some of the persons we are honoring. Um, I could give you a story of each one and what they did and the sacrifices they made and, and what they gave even when they did not have bombing ride and to come to the barbecue just to, to ensure that the party attempted, that the party stayed together. These are the persons who play a huge role in us being in power today. And I, I think it is I think it is only fitting that we we didn't give them the flowers when they were here. And sometimes that saddens me a bit. But this is just the first step in us telling you, the family, how much we appreciated your mothers, fathers, brothers, sisters, aunts, uncles, friends, relatives, you know. So this is, this is why we are here, to tell you thank you. I hope they are looking down on us some way and they do understand that maybe it was not done then but we are doing it now, so we are making a start. And we say all the time, politics is about people. We don't always show it. And I hope that now, going forward, we start giving persons who are with us now their flowers while they are here. I don't want nobody to come back in the next six months and say, that person was here the other day and look what happened. I may not be here tomorrow. This is just life. But this is just a start. And um, as I said, I could give a story about everybody. But jokes comes to mind. And I was telling them earlier. I remember when we did get a in 1995. And everybody said, and they see done. Three people walked the length and breadth of Grenada trying to convince people that NDC was a lie for Uncle Tilly, Miss, what's her name from the Thomas and George? Miss Cape, and Jokes. And everybody wondered, what's wrong with these crazy people? But guess what? It started, it was a start, and people realized the commitment that these people had. And so it picked up energy. Long story short, we are here today, we are in power. And these are the people just some of them, not all, who carried this party on their shoulders. As weak as they may have been or appeared to be, they were giants and they are the ones who are largely responsible for us being here today. 
So we are here today just to say thank you. And I want to, to the families, I spoke to some of you over the last few days, I don't really know much of you from the bottom of my heart and from the bottom of our hearts. We are just here to say thank you for lending us your family, friends, loved ones for the time they were here in holding us together when there was a need for us to be held together. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Blanche. The best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others, Mahatma Gandhi. And that is what these persons would have done. That is what is able to have them doing this work when it seemed as though nothing was going on, as Jojo had said. But they held on to the very end and today, persons in here can say thank you for what you would have done for us. At this time, I call on Ms. Vashti Stanislaus Williams to do the presentation of the awards. And I invite Senator Gloria Thomas to do the first full presentations for us. Please, thank you. engaged. 
Throughout her tireless work and genuine dedication, she has exemplified the true spirit of community mobilization. She took immense pride in her role, viewing it not just as a political endeavor, but as a mission to uplift and empower her community. Her impact has not gone unnoticed. Her legacy of service and leadership will undoubtedly inspire future generations to continue the work of community building and political engagement. Thank you for all your efforts and may your soul continue to rest in peace. Ladies and gentlemen, we speak of no other than Mrs. Daria Walker. And we we invite our daughter, Nakazi Cornwall, to accept on her behalf.
Do we have a representative for Diane Richardson? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Diane Richardson of Tivoli St. Andrew was born in May 1977. She had two children. Diane was a hard-working and easy-going person. She loved cooperating with people. She was a person who was positive about every aspect of life. Her outlook on life gave others, gave others inspiration to achieve their goals and aspirations. Diane was a very kind-hearted person who loved to give. She was patient and caring. She loved to enter. She loved to ensure that everybody had. She would have also transferred that to the National Democratic Congress, and so we show our appreciation to her today, and we call on Homie and Hutchison to. Michelle Richardson to accept on Diane's behalf. Born Joan Carol Taylor but most commonly known as Carol, in her latter life, she was referred to as the NDC lady. <laughs> Ms. Carol got involved in the NDC from its inception in 1987 and has remained loyal and dedicated, has remained a loyal and dedicated NDCite until her death in March 2016. She was known for her community involvement whether it be political or assisting someone within the community who was in need, not expecting anything in return. If outspoken was a person, it was her. As most of you who have been in circles will have known. Will have known. A tribute on the NBC Facebook page on her passing said, Sister Carol, on the most vocal and outspoken advocates and champions of the NDC. Sister Carol became one of the most vocal and outspoken advocates and champions of the NDC. That same energy was also into her dedication to her family, community, and party. She served on many Com she served on many committees and groups within the NDC party from the St. Andrews Northeast branch executive and polling division leader for Paul's polling division and for many more to the National Executive Council and the National Women's Arm. You could have seen her in almost every activity the NDC would have organized. Rallies, meetings, protests, or fundraising, Miss Carol was there. Pity Martin, Kariku, or Grenada, you can bet your last dollar she would be there. A strong, dedicated, and loyal NDC woman she was. At this time, I invite Miss Flash. Oh, sorry. We invite Dr. Tessa Sincere to accept on behalf of Carol. He was raised in the village of Parkley, St. Andrew. 
He was a dedicated family man, carpenter, musician, and political enthusiast. He served the National Democratic Congress in St. Andrew Northeast constituency within various positions. Anyone who knew him knew that he was an extremely comical individual. I am certain that anyone within his social stratum can remember a joke or two he made, inclusive of himself. He made, he made it his life objective to ensure you laughed, and he was great at that. One of his most notable physical statues was that he was a very tall man, six feet, two inches. He often said, towards the crowd, wherever he went. Mr. Thomas was faced with many adversities during his lifetime. He had impaired vision and had reconstructive surgery. On the contrary, these catastrophic events never hindered him from enjoying a very active lifestyle, which includes playing cricket, driving, singing, and of course, participating on the campaign trail. Mr. Sally believed in the transformational agenda of the National Democratic Congress. He had affirmatively believed that the vision, team, and opportunity will change the trage trajectory of the country into the next generation. A powerful, positive movement will only come once, will only come once when we, the citizens of our country, make the right choice for change. Mr. Thomas died shortly, he died shortly after the 2022 victorious elections. Whilst his constituency was not victorious, he was pleased with the progressiveness in which he had expressed victory is bound for the next general elections. As we continue to honor his legacy, he will forever live in the hearts of his family and friends and his beloved grandchildren. May his soul rest in peace. Ladies and gentlemen, we speak of no other than Mr. Stanley Thomas and we invite his daughter, Stanika Thomas, to accept on his behalf. Thank you, Senator Joseph. I now invite Senator David Andrew to do the distribution. Children can recall him keeping the keeping 
his exercise book with the names of constituents and calling and trying to convince them as to why they should vote NDC to the extent that he shared with them strategies that could be employed in order to gain success. He constantly encouraged Uncle Tilly never to lose hope and stay motivated. Brother Jukes is fondly remembered as a strong advocate for construction of the Progress Park, made great contribution to Dr. Nicole Philip Dow's book on the Grenada Revolution, and today we can proudly boast that his only daughter, Alicia Alexander, is an educator, the wish of Linda Thorn. Ladies and gentlemen, I invite Sister Laurel John to collect on behalf of Representative here for Mr. George Maguire. Northwest constituents. Do we have a representative? 
Well, again, we'll give the honor to the minister, to his girl. So, his girl, we give you the honor to collect for your boy. Inspiration to all who knew her 
and her memory will continue to live in the hearts of her family and the community she served selflessly. Margaret DeBella Gibson was truly the best business of strength and a testament to the power of kindness and community. At this time, I invite her daughter, Rihanna DeBella, to accept on her mom's behalf. Do we have a representative for Ezra? So I invite, I invite you to come forward please and collect on behalf of Ezra Peters. Thank you, Dr. Sincere.
found joy in living. She enjoyed serving others and never found it too difficult, too difficult to share what she had with them. She was an avid supporter of the National Democratic Congress and never wavered in her, pas in her passion to do anything or go anywhere for her party. One of her favorite mantra was, cut me and you will see endless blood flowing in my veins. Ladies and gentlemen, I speak of none other than Zan Najuma Charles. And I invite Mr. James to come and collect and hold her. I wish I could have said the but probably not. I should have given Mr. Simmons that task. Anne Erlin Charles. You have Mr. Simmons what else to say? And Arlen Charles, Mr. Simon's secretary for five years. We do not have a right to upon the next recipient, but I was asked to invite Mr. Simmons to say something about Sister Muriel James. Just unfortunate, just unfortunate, she's 
that you can choose from. You should have gotten it before. Thank you. Okay, so we invite Donna and Twain.
it will create a vision for tomorrow. So we promise you that you will get your flowers when you're alive. And finally, the highest tribute you can give to the dead is not grief. So while it's true, we wish those folks who are around, we wish our parents who are around, whatever, whoever, the highest tribute to the dead is not grief, but gratitude. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mrs. Williams. Lots of food for thought for everyone in here that we honor persons now and that we too extend the olive branch and that we serve our communities. Whatever we, we believe in, that we should be bold and serve that. At this time, I invite Mr. Randall Robinson, the Deputy Chair of the National Democratic Congress, to give some brief remarks. Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Yes, um, I'm Patilly, past Prime Minister, MP Delma Thomas, Senators Gloria, Senator Claudette, Senator David, soon to be Senator Tessa. <laughs> Soon to be Senator Tessa, after former Senator, soon to be Senator again, and then MP Tessa. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, or past MP, brothers and sisters. Yes. Um, my task this evening is simple. Dear friends and colleagues, we gather here this evening to honor and remember the fallen stalwarts of our political organization, the NBC. These remarkable individuals devoted their lives to the pursuit of justice, equality, and betterment for our society here in Bermuda. Their contributions have shaped our path, and their legacy continues to inspire us all. They were more than just members of the NBC. They were pioneers, visionaries, champions of the people. Their unwavering commitment to our cause, often in the face of great adversity, has left an indelible mark on our movement and our nation. They stood up for what was right, challenged the status quo, and worked tirelessly to create a world where everyone has the opportunity to thrive. As we re reflect on their lives, brothers and sisters, we are reminded of their courage. You know we had to be courageous in the face of the others. Integrity and dedication. They were not afraid to speak truth to power. We remember Carol when we say that. To stand up for the marginalized and to fight for the voiceless. Their work was not just a profession, it was a calling, a mission that transcended personal ambition and sought to bring about meaningful change in Grenada. The change that I believe that we are enjoying now, girls and sisters, put your hands together for that. Today, we honor their memory by renewing our commitment to the principles they held there. Let us continue their work with the same fervor and determination, ensuring that their sacrifices were not in vain. Their legacy is our responsibility, and we must strive to live up to the high standards that they set. In paying tribute, we also acknowledge the profound loss felt by their families, friends, and colleagues. We extend our deepest sympathies and gratitude to those who supported them throughout their journey. Your sacrifices and support were integral to their success 
and we share in your grief. And as we move forward, let us carry the spirit of these stalwarts within us, using their example to guide our actions and decisions. Let us honor them, not just with our words, but with our deeds, by continuing the fight for justice, equality, and by building a better Pity Martinique, Karaku, and Grenada that they envisaged. Thank you very much, brothers and sisters. Thank you very much to the family for your support. God bless. Thank you, Senator Joseph. So I'm sure that our hearts are filled. But I just ask everyone to turn to the person next to you and express some sort of gratitude for what they would have done or what they are about to do. <laughs> All right, thank you. on the train of rendering service, I want to invite whoever is not to get on board and who is there to continue. For when we do this, it gives us a sense of belonging, a sense of fulfillment, and that extends our latter years. At this time, Mr. Ian Thomas will say, uh, thank you. All right, good evening, one and all. And I must admit, the chairperson set me up. I think in up front, she set me up. But um, I would not allow the opportunity to pass we don't say thank you to the organizers of the event. Wonderful initiative. <laughs> to the recipients on behalf of your, your folk, maybe your mother, maybe your father, maybe your aunt, your grandfather. We want to thank you for being a descendant of a child. Because without the work of your four parents or your elder, or the person you're here to represent, our victory today may not have been realized. So give yourselves a round of applause on behalf of your There's a quote from Isaac Newton. Now, as I said, I was set up. I want to remember the latter part of the quote. Whereby we are standing on the shoulders of giants. And I want us to leave with that in mind. That we should really stand on the shoulders of the giants that made and paved the way for us to be victorious today. If you're not as yet a member of the National Democratic Congress, please join. Please join. Please become a member because, you see, this organization is important to be a part of because I believe we are the true bastions of the interests of the people. This is no cartoon organization. And I'm saying it again. We are really the best choice. So I would like to thank uh, the organizers and the members of uh, cabinet Thanks to all invited guests and to the everybody here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Ian. So I did not set him up. He's a past student and I know of his capabilities. That's why I asked him to do this. And you did very well. Much more than we anticipated. Thank you. Again, thank you to everyone for being here this afternoon. We now have some light refreshments that you can partake in as you chit chat and further the gratitude cause this evening. Thank you. Pleasant evening all.
for the name. Alright, so we have the son of Mr. Terrence Noel here. So I will ask Ms. Thomas to make the presentation. Now the person is down and we partake in the evening's refreshments. Thank you.